Greetings fellow Shadow Raiders, Scropture here and this is Raid Shadow Legends free to play episode 71. Today a little bit different because not much is happening in the game, uh, we got still uh, the rest of the uh, fusion uh, in place but I was not participating in this event, only get this one uh, epic champion uh, because I think it will be useful. And today I would like to um, talk about uh, some facts and maybe some tips uh, to help you progress um, in the game with uh, generally building champion process. Uh, so currently we are on day, login day uh, 216 and if I take a look to my roster and I uh, apply filtering to include all the vaults and just select 6 star champions, so I got 45 uh, 6 star champions. Um, is it a lot? Uh, I don't know, generally that's uh, how it is <laughs> at this moment. Uh, and if you divide the uh, number of login the game, so 216 by uh, 45, it means it will be like 4.8 days. Uh, to get a uh, six star champion and not only just six star champion but also with masteries because all of my six star champions got masteries oh this one probably not <laughs> uh, all, all of them but uh, yeah most of the champions like 99 percent they will have uh, masteries because uh, masters will unlock uh, additional potential those champions and yeah, so the question is how I'm doing that. Okay, so um, let's back to basics and cover uh, m most of them. Uh, so first thing, uh, energy. So do not, I'm, I'm not leaving uh, energy to on the max cap, just uh, collecting it uh, for forever. Uh, my idea is here to just keep it below 130 to make sure that it will uh, slowly recover so every three minutes you get one so that's one thing uh, another thing gem mine yeah this is very basic so you're doing this once and forever you will get uh, 15 gems per 24 uh, hours something like that um, another one guardian pit uh, so I on the um, in the middle uh, of the challenge I unlock it um, but only on the first level uh, for all the slots and yeah it's up and running like 99% of the time um, so what are the tips here maybe it's it's worth uh, mention so I'm training him mostly uh, four star champions uh, between level 30 to 40. Uh, yeah, mm, to get another you know, candidate for the fi five star to be a five star chicken. Uh, so here we got two. Uh, what else I'm doing here? Uh, training uh, my uh, five star legendary heroes to level 50. Uh, if I'm not using them, uh, if I don't need them uh, right away, so they are sitting here. And also uh, some fusion champions that we'll use uh, later uh, to fuse Razin or something, right? So that, that's the idea. Uh, if you will upgrade this uh, to the level, to the third level, uh, it will face an issue with uh, very frequent um, refresh right because uh, the time will be reduced and this will be so much faster so it will be hard to you know uh, keep it up to, to, to just click the, all those refreshes uh, so usually what I'm doing uh, when I do not have uh, legendaries to, to, to train uh, I'm preparing five uh, four star chickens uh, to level 30 and I'm ensure that they are have the, the same uh, level and the same progress, so the time is uh, equal. And yeah, 
to make sure that you know just need to remember it to, to click it uh, at the same go not to have those different times like here this is less efficient but if you are online so that's no problem but you if you are not so yeah this could be tricky uh, another one here uh, if you're going, if you know that you will be off for some time, um, and you see that ne next level will be in one hour, so usually what I'm doing, I'm going to the tavern, I'm selecting this champion um, like this, and I'm throwing uh, sometimes uh, brew, one brew, just to pick to not another level, or just few one-star champions just to uh, level up like, like this. Yeah, so now I know I have another 16 hours to, for this champion, so okay, that, that's fine. Yeah, so that's Sparring Pit. Um, so here you will have a big uh, farm of producing chickens and upgrading your champions. Um, what else? Uh, a lot of resources, uh, they are coming from quests, but this is another basic thing, right? So 5 star and 4 star chicken here. Uh, but this is one per month, so not a lot. Um, in clan boss you do not get anything, uh, but you will get something in Doom Tower. So Doom Tower for sure, there is a lot of stages. Currently at this moment the, the, the Doom Tower is cleared, but there is a lot of stages with additional chickens, energy, whatever that you need uh, to upgrade your champions. So very good source of resources, which is uh, very useful. And recently I just discovered that uh, Curse City is the similar uh, thing here, because uh, there is a lot of... Um, stages that uh, they are giving small chickens and a bit bigger chickens some energy brews yeah so i'm, I'm trying to clear it uh, every time to, to get those for, for example here we got chicken probably this is free star chicken but always something as a free to play yeah it's, it's need to try to get uh, them uh, as you see them <laughs> if possible yeah um and I think the final thing here, um, because you're building so many 6-star champions, uh, sometimes you get to the question, uh, who should be my next 6-star, right? So, uh, and I think I, from the beginning of this account, I was uh, mentioning that uh, the focus is uh, should be pretty straightforward. You should 6-star uh, champions, where uh, are the resources? Uh, so I'm, but by that I mean um, champions that will help you to get those resources, right? So we, we will have some kind of trade-off. I will train a new champions to get new resources. For example, here, uh, what I'm doing now, and I think this is also very important, uh, I'm not buying masteries for my champions. Uh, I'm training them in Mino. So here, for example, we got um, Doom Priest. Uh, Boulder, Rancid, and Vogot. So they are free already line up, uh, more or less on the levels and amount of scrolls. And I'm running them currently in uh, Minotaur dungeon, like this. So we got Rotalos and three of them. Uh, to not e only get. Uh, Masteries for those three champions, but also to level up them to level 60 Because if you will be running only like Rotalos with only one guy uh, or someone else who, who will carry this dungeon uh, So he will not be uh, at the end of the process uh, when he will get all masteries with uh, Full level, I mean 60, right? So we'll, you will need to put them to Guardian Pit or, or uh, do some campaign farming also with him yeah so and this will be less efficient so it's better to create like two or three even three uh, candidates to level 60 and just run them together uh, with carry so all of them they will be getting masteries they will be getting uh, xp uh, this will take some time <laughs> currently at this stage i think I, this is my 
fourth uh, day in, in Mino uh, when I'm farming those uh, free uh, and upgrading those three guys. So, but slowly uh, we'll get there. And so then this is good time when you are not doing a fusion. That's a very very uh, beneficial way to spend your energy. There is one more thing that I would like to clarify. Uh, which is about the fusions yeah so anyway I've got uh, 6 star every um, 4.8 days during those 7 months uh, in the game uh, and I completed like Wigsoul Fusion, Armands, Ankora, uh, Shayek, also Incarnate um, but here in Kalenta I transferred to, to I choose to, to um, create Slixus instead of this legendary champions champion. What else? Um, don't have any other fusions, I think. Uh, uh, okay, that there was uh, A Street. Uh, I skipped that because of the challenge. I was focused on the challenge, um, not on the fusion. Which I'm regretting <laughs> because this is a very good champion, and yeah, and th this one fusion, which I'm partially skipping, just getting the epic. Uh, so, uh, clarification about uh, is fusion generally uh, slowing you down uh, with building six star champions, which. Uh, Looks like it's not completely true because um, during the fusion you're getting uh, a lot of additional resources from tournaments and events and if you are trying to be a little bit even more efficient, for example like in this uh, classic arena tournament, uh, so on the right side you got gems, energy, yeah, always something that you can use and if you are aiming to get even more energy uh, best spot is like this fourth position to get ad additional 75 gems so we can try to do this um, yeah additional energy and additional resources uh, also during this on the summoning um, tournaments and events you will be getting uh, five star chickens even so this will help a lot um, yeah, so this is some kind of trade-off. You are completing like uh, dungeon tournaments and events, and instead you are later you're getting some five-star chickens, right? But the main uh, blocker for the fusion for me now, if I will have any, it will be the amount of shards. But currently I'm pretty safe on this side, um, so yeah, any fusion is, is possible. Yeah, so generally fusions are, uh, I think it's, they are not slowing uh, the, the free-to-play um, icons at all. Uh, so you're getting good champions uh, if you are efficient, uh, like I show in uh, previous uh, episodes. So you can use uh, Rogrim uh, himself uh, or with Ratalos or so someone else who is strong enough to just solo uh, some dungeons and train uh, food uh, during that time. So, yeah, th there is many uh, possible ways to, to be a little bit uh, more efficient in small places, which will add up at the end and you will get a lot of uh, upgrades. Yeah, so tell me, uh, what do you think in the comments uh, about those tips? Did I miss anything? Um, yeah, and see you in the next one. Cheers!